Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon to get notified of any further content and also to support me on Patreon. It's one dollar and uh, this link will be left in the subscription below. Welcome back to the channel, especially to all my wonderful subscribers and my family and friends. So, welcome to the Retro Hour and today we are going to check out Castlevania. This version of Castlevania I think is the original. It was released in 1986, 0926. It was done by Konami, that was the publishers. The genre is an action platform. It's a single player game. And let's see what they say about this game. If you think it is scary on the outside, well, you'll see the basement. You're in for the longest night of your life. Ghosts, goblins, demons, wolves, bats. Creatures lurking around every corner. As you descend deeper and deeper, they get thicker and thicker. Better sticks close to the cavern walls. It's your only chance of finding a weapon or two. You're gonna need them, because when you finally meet the Count, you know you'll be going for the juggler. So keep your courage up, and your stake sharp, and say your prayers. And then probably, <laughs> added to that. Cool! So, without further ado, let us look at Castlevania. I can still remember how this game works. Uh, jump, slash. That's all you need to know. Two buttons. Jump, hit. Getting down, forward, backwards. Easy as that. Simple as pie. You have your score at the top. You've got the time. In the stage you're running the player's life and the enemy's life. Then you see you've got your hearts. The hearts, the more hearts you have, the more special ability of magic you can use. And then I've got three lives. That's what the P stands for. And of course, hit everything. Candles, flames, ghosts. They can all give you something. And you see the more whips you pick up, the longer the whip goes. Come on, you bitch. Let's get my groove on. Before the touch of feet, and we're going through the first level or the first part of the level. Ah, let's see what's going on. A bat. Got the bat. Let's 
sometimes you have to see they've got the secret um, hidden places where you can find some food. Uh, the food just regenerates your health. The music is back. And through the magic of editing, you will never see how many times I had to redo this stage over and over again. Wasn't too bad. Let's see. Ah, you want the axe. For this level, you want the axe. First stage, and we well, we cleared the first stage and we missed a couple of stuff, but okay, that's the first stage. This part of the whole level difficult is the sequence. The moment your sequence is out or your timing is out by a fraction, they will get you every time. This secret I actually found by accident. I was standing waiting for the guy to leave and then I found the chest opening up. Thank you. 
trust me, I had to restart this part of the game or the start of the stage plenty of times. Hence the editing. Boss lady for the stage is Medusa. I would actually have liked to use the boomerang for that one, but at least the potion came in handy. Okay guys, this last part of the game I basically left unedited, so this is how the gameplay actually went, except for here and there. But overall, an awesome game. I really loved playing this game when I was younger. Um, um, as you can see, most of the game's tricks are timing. Timing and sequence. If you can get that right, you'll be fine. And um, also, the actual level itself was nicely designed. Good game. The most difficult level I had in this game, throughout the whole game, was the tower level. It's extremely difficult. You really, really struggle to get through that level. Um, the, yeah, the final boss battle is also not the easiest in the world. You'll find Dracula, uh, if I can remember correctly, changes shape twice. You've got only one lifeline, and he's a bat first, or a guy first, and then he changes into a demon or monster secondly. And every time he changes, he gets a full health bar where you only sit with your one single health bar. Whatever you have when you go into that final battle is what you have. So, um, yeah. Let's check out the last few minutes of this video. And then I just want to tell you guys, thanks a lot for watching. And please remember to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, hit the icon, the bell icon to get notified of any further uploads and you don't have to worry or wait for me. You'll be notified immediately when I put up a new video.